Maybe I'll go up to Canada after this thing. Probably gonna go to Acadia National Park. I don't know really what I'm gonna do. I'm just trying to figure out what I'm gonna do like immediately in the month. Well, I've got about two weeks. I'll probably have a little over two weeks to uh, hang out in Maine. Think about what I'm gonna do long term. But in the short term, you watch where you're fing going. Look at that spin, man. Whoa! Everybody had been telling me that once you get up and over the Bigelows heading north, the trail really evens out and it gets a lot easier terrain wise. It's not as steep and stuff. And holy shit, were they right? If it's gonna be like this all the way to Baxter, man, I'll be there by next week. <laughs> Maybe not that soon, but it is a little muddy through here. Shoes are already soaked. Put wet ass socks on this morning. It's not like. I'm getting dry socks wet. I do have one dry pair of socks that I'm saving for tomorrow. We've made it to the Kennebec River. There's the ferry service. There's the guy taking two people across. That sign back there said the water can rise two to four feet without warning. Apparently there's a dam upstream, so I'm gonna heed that warning and use the ferry service. to get home ready to uh, hit the next adventure running I don't know I know I'm gonna when I get home you know after initially seeing all my friends and family after all the the welcome back wears off I know I'm gonna miss days being out on the trail and just living an adventure man that's what I feel like I've been doing for the last five months is 
truly living every day to its fullest. I hate doing these fucking videos, man. They just seem like me trying to reach for something to talk about, but yeah. Fucking Georgia to Maine, bro. 2,200 miles.